the Lord has brought us to another Wednesday night service. Get your Bible, get your paper, and get a sharp pencil, or you will not be able to remember all of the little nuggets God would give us in Scripture tonight that we can go back over and study them and continue to grow and stay in the presence of the Lord. We are so thankful that God has smiled on us, all of the listeners uh, and all of the body of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church. We are so grateful that God has allowed us through the conference call and back into the house of prayer through means of the Internet and Facebook and conference call and face-to-face. We are able to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ and some in a Texas family in California, Tennessee, and Georgia, Florida, and throughout the state. We're just so happy that we are all excited about living this life for the Lord and fellowship with one another. And those that I haven't seen on the conference call, I pray and hope that God will grant us favor and long life and jeopardy that someday we will meet here on earth face to face and and just fellowship and and reminisce over the service and the listening and the time that we was able to fellowship with one another without being in person. So stay encouraged and and keep praying for one another. Or I want to encourage us to keep praying for the fellowship of pastors and churches, or Bishop Miller there in Pittsburgh and the Boston area, and uh, Pastor uh, Daniel McIntosh in U.S. Virgin Island, Bishop David Lewis and his family in Trinidad and Tobago. Also, Bishop Brady Jackson uh, gave a big thanks for everyone that uh, supported and said hello to him and his wife during their anniversary of years of marriage and church pastoral. Also, uh, Pastor Jacque Folk, we enjoyed him this afternoon. We encourage you to keep praying for him and the ministry there. Choose it or lose it. And we are so thankful that we're able to mention Pastor Lord Henry Chappelle, Bishop uh, uh, Ron Doherty, send greeting and hello, and also uh, Pastor uh, Michael Robinson and Pastor Roberta Minor and Pastor Joseph Pace. So keep these ministers and pastors in your prayer, for if there ever been a time we need solid, strong ministers, uh, steadfast ministers and pastors to stand our ground. Glory be to God. If there ever been a time we need to stand our ground, not to fight, but stand our ground in holiness and preach the gospel and live accordingly and walk in obedience that not only we might have the opportunity of being saved, but we might have the opportunity to others on uh, getting a relationship with the Lord. Uh, we're going to have one of our associate ministers to come to us tonight, uh, and we are so grateful and blessed uh, by uh, Minister John Lindsay going to come tonight, and I'm going to ask Minister Dale Lewis uh, another one of our associate ministers to come with prayer in just a moment. But as we prepare for this, I want to greet the saints. The Lord has laid a couple of scriptures on my heart, and uh, I just want to uh, uh, read or uh, quote a verse of each one. You can jot it down and read it later. But I want to encourage the body of the listeners on the line, and especially those of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church, we we, we've been quarantined uh, over a year and a half and still pretty much quarantined. We're not out of this just because you don't have the COVID. I encourage you to still stay quarantined and, and stay your distance, follow the rules. And, and I want to uh, encourage us that we need to pray for our children. And this epidemic is kind of like uh, when Jesus was uh, uh, known throughout that there would be a savior born and and the enemy got in the king to kill all of the uh, boys that was of a certain age. This pandemic, this virus, this 
uh, corona has tried to take many and did take many adults out. And through praying and the persevering prayers of the righteous, and here the Delta virus has have got an assignment from hell to take out our children. But we need to persevere, saint. We need to stay the course. We don't need to hang loose. We don't need to quit now. We don't need to become impatient and start wanting to pleasurize ourselves with the things of the world, the pleasure of the world. We need to stay vigilant, stay cautious, and most of all, get your shot. Please do that when necessary. If, if, if it's not about you, do it for your family member, someone else. So First Thessalonians remind us in uh, chapter 1, verse 3, and I want to encourage the listeners, especially Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Church family, and encourage us, remember without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't hang. Don't forget about what our Lord has done for us, not only on Calvary, how he's taken care of us and, and, brought us through. Many of us have had the COVID. Could have been the other way, but because of your labor of love and your work of faith, according to First Thessalonians 1 and 3, and, 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 and your patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, please don't hang me. Please don't hang. I urge you tonight. I beseech you not to get, become impatient and don't lose your hope. Don't, don't start uh, vacating and parting and going to game and doing all of these things, please keep your labor of love and your uh, work of faith and your patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, verse 58, Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, and your labor is not in vain. Please stay encouraged. I, I, I urge you. We're back in the house of prayer. I urge you. Everyone should have a thermometer by now. Check your temperature before you go to work, before you go out, before you go into the seminar of your family. If you're having a high temperature and you don't feel good, please don't forget your labor of love and your patience of hope. In the Lord Jesus, be steadfast and unmovable. Thank you so much. And we encourage us now to keep praying for one another. Minister Lewis, will you come and grace us with prayer? And then Minister John Lewis, Minister John Lindsay, we will bring him in and, and, and hear what the Lord has for us tonight. And as I bring these individuals in, it's just like receiving me. It's just like receiving the Lord. For we need a word from the Lord. We need to further be encouraged to cease not from working and the work of faith. We need to keep our faith up, and we need to be steadfast and unmovable. Minister Lewis, will you come now? Amen. God, tonight we, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for how you have um, just watched over us all day long. We thank you, Lord God, for the leaders that you have blessed us with. We thank you for Bishop Morgan. We thank you for First Lady Morgan and God, how they have exemplified um, righteousness. God, living a life before your people. And God, as we hear our leader cry out tonight, God, we got to believe with him giving us scripture that, Lord, you purpose this in his heart to speak to your people. God, give us an ear to hear. Give us a, a obedient spirit, Lord God, that we will do those things that God will bring you glory. Lord God, we don't have to prove you. You've already been proven. <laughs> we don't have to test you, Lord God. You stood every test. You passed every test through your son, Jesus. But, God, will you help us tonight? Yes. Help us, Lord God, to hear. Help us to obey. And, God, help us to do those things, Lord God, 
that will not bring shame to you. God, we thank you for the wisdom that you've given our leader. We thank you, Lord God, as we um, extend ourselves to become your sons and your daughters. God, we will do what is asked of us. God, we ask that you would look on our young people tonight. Lord God, the things that are trying to destroy them, the enemy couldn't get us, Lord. Uh, God, now there's an assignment on our on our Lord. on our you. God, will you stay the hand of the enemy? God, if you hid Moses from Pharaoh, you can hide our children from this variant COVID. Yes, Lord. God, we ask tonight. Help the parents, Lord God. Yes, Lord. To be vigilant, Lord God. Help the parents. The, the children are only going to do what they see us do. God, we you've given us the authority as parents. God, help us to dress our children appropriate. Help us to put them on masks, Lord, no matter what the system say. Oh, God, oh. we have a system higher than man. Yeah. God, we thank you tonight. God, will you give us ears to hear what your servant will speak tonight? Yes. And God, everything that we're hearing now, Lord, you're just simply saying that we be willing and obedient. Mm-hmm. We'll eat the good of the land. God, healing will be a part of our obedience. Yes. Oh, God, help us tonight. You know what we have neither. God, we just say that, God, we trust you. We trust the one you put over us. Thank you, Give God. us your wisdom tonight. Thank and God, you. we just step and say thank you thank and you. call it done. In thank Jesus' you. name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister uh, Lewis, for the prayer. Minister John, will you come and minister to us a word from the Lord? Amen, amen, church. Uh, I give honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. I just thank God. Hallelujah. Uh, amen, uh, for entrusting me, uh, uh, with his word as a preacher, amen, and, uh, uh God, uh, uh, have something good for us tonight. Uh, he has something good for us all the time, but, uh, amen, uh, I know that he has something good for you tonight, uh, even from, uh, what already has gone for uh, from our bishop and from the uh, the prayer that was uh, lifted up by Minister Lewis. Uh, I thank God for you, Bishop, uh, for the Christ in you. Jesus. I thank, thank God you. for allowing you to allow me to come and preach the gospel. Yes, Lord. Oh, his people that he have entrusted unto your care. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for that. Thank tonight you find me born again, baptized with the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Lord. I thank God for life. Life is the greatest gift that God has given us in this world and the world to come. And he gave it through his son, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, thank you. God, thank you for life. Thank Hallelujah. You for life. I, I, know, I know that you're on the airway, but right that where you are. Just thank God for life. Hallelujah. You might be on the airway, but Jesus is on the airway too. I remember the saints are old. Uh, they were saying like this. They, 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 they had a song they were singing. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight I just want to tell him thank you. Thank you for life. Hallelujah. I thank him for life tonight. Hallelujah. The greatest gift. Hallelujah. That we can have. Hallelujah is life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. On tonight, uh, uh, people, uh, church, on tonight, uh, with the blessing.
blessing of God, I want to speak to us concerning faith. Let us say faith. Faith in Jesus. Faith in God. God's word declare in Hebrews 11 and 6 that it is impossible to please him without faith. Hallelujah. Our scripture, our scripture tonight, amen, is uh, coming from uh, Hebrews, the 10th chapter. We're reading from the 21st to the 23rd verse. That's Hebrews 10, uh, 21st through the 23rd verse. And uh, for subject text, uh, I want to take from Romans 1 and 17. That's Romans 1 and 17. Uh, when Jesus was preparing uh, the disciples and those that were following him, uh, he was preparing them for his departure from this earth. And uh, he told them uh, in John 14 and 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, if you believe in God, be believe also in him. Mm -hmm. Tonight, say God wants us to know to put our faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. To put our faith in Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. So, uh, we'll read the scripture. Amen. Hebrew. 10 and 21, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled with an, uh, with an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession, the confession of our faith, without wavering, but he is faithful that promise. Amen. God is faithful that promise. Uh, in in the times, uh, in these days that we're living, we're uh, uh, in some sorrow, days of sorrow. We're, we're living in days of sorrow, and God is reminding us uh through his word that the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's uh, uh, coming from uh, Romans 1 and 17. You can also find, uh, amen, uh, that word in the scripture in uh, Habakkuk 2 and 4, Galatians 3 and 11, and Hebrews 10 and 38, uh, that God is telling his people, that the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, injustice uh, is throughout the land, and it's causing uh, much sorrow and much heartache, uh, destruction, and disaster, natural disasters. It's causing uh, a, a, a lot of heartache, and a lot of sorrow, oppression, and and, and diseases uh, throughout the land is causing sorrow and heartache. But God is saying to us that the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. This uh, 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 sorrow, uh, the, the destructions and, and injustice and oppression and uh, these diseases, not just here in the United States, but they're all over the globe. Hallelujah. All over the earth. Hallelujah. Uh, many people, amen, uh, is losing hope. Many people are losing faith. But God is saying to us, he's saying to you, that the just shall live by faith. And mm -hmm. amen, uh, I know you have heard it before, but I uh, prophesy to you on the night. Amen, that Jesus is soon to come. 
And uh, this is what I say to you concerning Jesus soon to come. Uh, it was given to me while I was in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I can uh, say that uh, I was in the spirit uh, because I had a night vision for three uh, rings uh, of light went over my body. It went over my body as a section, one behind the other. And then these three rings uh, of light, what I call three rings of power. And I call them three rings of power for lack of uh, 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 just describing what it was, but it was three rings of power. And when it went over my body, I said, I'm in the spirit now. And when I had uh, declared that I was in the spirit, uh, I saw no man, but I heard a voice of authority. Hey, glory, thank you. Hallelujah. They said, Jesus is soon to come. Glory be to God. Church, be ready when he come. Be ready when he come, because he's soon to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He's soon to come. Uh, amen. God uh, is saying to us tonight that as it was then, even so now, that the just shall live by faith. The Bible tells us in the 11th uh, chapter of Hebrew that by faith Noah being warned of God for a thing not seen. He built, a, he built an ark to the saving of his house. And by faith, Abraham offered up of his son Isaac, believing that God was able to raise him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And as it were with them, Abraham and Noah, even so now, the just shall live by faith. Uh, it goes on to let us know that by faith Moses chose to suffer affliction mm -hmm. with the people of God, that to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Mm. And amen, uh, Ray at the heart. Amen. By faith, uh, she hid two spies of Israel. Amen. She showed them hospitality uh, to the saving of herself in her whole household. So as it was with them, even so today, God uh, is saying that the just shall live by faith. And amen, glory be to God, uh, by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. Uh, I want to say to you tonight, uh, from the testimony, uh, hallelujah, of the church. Uh, amen. The church, uh, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church. Uh, and by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, uh, I want to let you know, uh, God uh, will let you know. Amen. Uh, that by faith, uh, Bishop John Fender Baker, hallelujah, he preached the uh, glory uh, to a non-congregational church uh, for three years uh, and a half. By yeah. faith, uh, he saw a people that was not there uh, as if uh, they were there. Amen. Yeah. And by faith, uh, under the leadership uh, of Bishop Morgan, uh, glory be to God, uh, the ministry, the church, uh, hallelujah, that God uh, let John uh, Bishop Bishop see uh, through faith uh, has flourished uh, to national and international ministry. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. Uh, it was, uh, amen, uh, uh, even as it was then, even so now, uh, the just shall live by faith. The sons of God must live by faith, whether you are male or female. 
You are a son of God if you are in Christ Jesus. Continue, continue, saints, in the faith of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave his life that we might, uh, that whosoever believes should not perish, but uh, have everlasting life. Hold fast, hold fast, hold fast, hold fast to your confession of your faith without wavering. Hold fast, be you steadfast in Romans 10 and 9, amen, that your confession of faith, your confession with the mouth, the Lord Jesus, and uh, your believing with your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you are uh, saved. Hallelujah. For God, uh, amen, God, God is faithful that promise. Glory, glory, glory. Hold fast to John 3 and 16, that God loves you so much. Hallelujah, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, and that if you uh, believe on him, Whoever believe on him should not yeah. perish but have yeah. everlasting life. Hold fast to John 1 and 12. Uh, hallelujah to many that receive him, uh, gave them uh, he power. Hallelujah to be called sons of God. Even uh, as many that believe on his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus came and he gave us life. Yes. Do you want it? I Jesus came and he gave us life. Do you want it? Yes. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent. And turn from the way of the world. Turn from the way of the world. Put your trust in Jesus. Turn from hyperboles. Amen. Yes. Uh, uh, they call them uh, often the facts. Exaggerated truth. Amen. Uh, but the truth uh, is that these often, in fact, uh, uh, these hyperboles are nothing more uh, than lies. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Turned, turned from the way of the world, uh, turned uh, from the old secret society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it in. And hallelujah for the uh, uh, agenda of a man. Man's agenda, uh, mm. selling out the, uh, uh, amen, uh, 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 selling out yourself. Hallelujah. You got to turn away from that, make an immoral decision just to, uh, the, the, uh, uh, to get the uh, power, amen, uh, uh, just uh, to have influence, uh, just uh, to have a, a few dollars more. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. God said, uh, turn uh, away from the way of the world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The love of, of the world is not of God. Am I right about it? That's what the scriptures say. Hallelujah. So I know it's right. Uh, because the scripture is right. Uh, Hallelujah. Great John 2 and 15. Amen. God uh, said, love not the world. See the things of the world. Hallelujah. The love of the flesh. Uh, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. The eyes. The love of the eyes. Let it 
He came, I'm talking about Jesus. He came and gave uh, you life. Uh, do you want yeah. it? Do you yeah. want it? Do you want yeah. it? Do you want it? Hallelujah. He came and gave you life. Do you want it? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The love of the flesh. Mm. Mm. The love of the eye. The pride of life. Let it go. Love not the world. Hallelujah. Love not uh, a fornicating life. Love not the uncleanliness. Amen. Uh, which is homosexuality and lesbianism. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. We got to turn to somebody. Hallelujah. In the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it go. Uh, that homosexual lifestyle. Uh, hallelujah. The Bible says it is an abomination. It's in Leviticus uh, 18 and 22. And if you keep on reading, hallelujah, to the 20th chapter, you'll also find yeah. it in the 20th chapter. Glory be to God. God uh, said, repent, repent, uh, repent, uh, hallelujah. For this call, uh, hallelujah, for those uh, that do not uh, repent, uh, hallelujah, God, uh, give them over to a reprobate mind, hallelujah. You can read it. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Rome, the first chapter, amen. Read the whole chapter. Yeah. Uh, 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 24 to 28. Uh, talk about uh, being turned over to vile affection. Amen. Vile affection. Doing everything that's unseemly. Reprobate man. No one uh, ought to want to have a, a reprobate man. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent. Hallelujah. And receive life. Jesus said uh, that he comes uh, to give us life and life uh, more abundantly. Ah, do you want it? Repent, repent. Turn from murdering with the mouth. Mm-hmm. Murdering with the mouth. Glory. Hallelujah. How am I murdering? Hallelujah. We don't hear too much today about uh, abortion. But abortion falls in the category of shedding innocent blood. Uh, Shedding innocent blood. Uh, Young lady, uh, can I tell you whatever storm uh, is in your life? Whatever heartache, disappointment in your life, Jesus, hallelujah, is a great provider. He is the greatest physician, hallelujah, that I know. He know how to heal your broken heart. He know how to bring peace to your storm. And by the mercy of God, the I beg you, I plead with you, uh, hallelujah, don't have that abortion, mm, don't have that abortion, mm, cast that, that thought down, lean not to, to your own understanding, hallelujah, cast it down, bring it to, into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Who said, I shall do no murder. Yes, 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 yes. God will forgive us of sin. Yes, God do forgive us of sin. But with sin uh, come consequences. 
consequences. There are consequences uh, uh, for every sin. I don't know how long the consequence is, uh, the time frame, or the consequences for any particular sin. But with sin uh, come consequences. I'm reminded uh, of King David. King David, uh, he asked God, uh, he said, God, uh, create in me a clean heart. And God did it. Glory. And then he said, uh, renew a right spirit within me. And God did it. But when he asked God to, to let him build him a house, uh, that the ark of the covenant may dwell there, God uh, wouldn't permit it. God uh, told him no. God said, David, you shall not uh, build me a house. Glory, hallelujah, for you have been a man uh, or walker, and you have uh, shed uh, blood. Uh, glory be to God. I hear uh, in my ear, hallelujah, hallelujah. I hear uh, with sin come consequences. Mm, with sin come consequences. Glory, glory, glory. Be steadfast, church. Be yes. steadfast in Jesus Christ and continue therein. Be steadfast uh, with, uh, amen, uh, hallelujah. Let, uh, amen, uh, be steadfast, uh, amen, push you uh, closer to Christ. Uh, let uh, steadfast uh, faith speak to you uh, to love God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Let the steadfast faith uh, say to you, mm, pray to walk the mark uh, for the pride of the high calling of God uh, in Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. And for me, uh, I believe, uh, glory, that the pride of the high calling of God uh, for me is eternal life by heaven's sake. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 29 11, I know the thoughts, uh, hallelujah, that I think towards you. Hallelujah. Thoughts uh, of peace uh, and not thoughts of evil. Thoughts to give you uh, an expected end. Hallelujah, my expected end, hallelujah, is eternal life, hallelujah, yeah. get out of that spirit, get out of that spirit, if that be you, uh, don't be straddling the fence, uh, but continue uh, in the faith uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, hallelujah, and his death uh, on the cross, uh, but he bared uh, our sin in his body uh, on the cross, uh, freeing all of us. Uh, and whosoever uh, we are, uh, hallelujah, he freed them to walk uh, in the spirit of life, uh, which is in him. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Is that faith that God is, and God is a reward of those that diligently seek Him? The Bible said, uh, "Look at here." Uh, the Bible said, uh, "No man, Hallelujah, having put the, his hand to the plow uh, and looking back, uh, is fit uh, for the kingdom of God." Glory. Hallelujah. You can find it. Hallelujah. In Luke uh, 
thank you, God. I'm just going to read uh, this here. Uh, and now, uh, hallelujah, I'm coming down with that habit. Uh, hallelujah. I'm in Romans 10 uh, and 21. Uh, is that having a high priest uh, over our house, uh, uh, over the house of God? And Jesus is our high priest. It said, yeah. Amen. Uh, let us uh, draw near uh, to God uh, with a pure conscience, with clean bodies uh, and unwavering faith. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Jesus uh, is our high priest. He's the uh, high priest. Uh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. He uh, is over your house, uh, hallelujah, your temple, hallelujah, glory be to God, uh, his blood, uh, his blood, uh, his still work, uh, have faith, uh, God see, uh, have faith uh, in Jesus, glory be to God, y'all mm. bring my faith in the Lord, Jesus, yes, Lord, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, glory. hallelujah. Thank God, you, God bless you. Thank you, God. Bless you, Minister John. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God bless you, Minister John. Don't abandon the faith. Don't abandon the faith, church. Don't abandon the faith. My God. Thank you, Minister John. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I'm reminded of a statement. Scripture paraphrasing said, Oh, did not heart burn as the word of God fell by the wayside? Thank you, God. As the word of God preached tonight. Thank you, God. Someone asked me some time ago that they believe the nation need a revival. And I reminded them we've been having a revival since the COVID hit. Glory be to God. Thank you, God. My, you can't have a revival without the preacher. Oh, when the preacher preached the gospel of Jesus Christ, it brings life back to the people. A revival is to bring back alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you for bringing us alive tonight, Minister John. And we was listening at his text, reminding us to be faithful. Mm. And to have faith. Mm-hmm. And faith is putting our trust in Jesus Christ and the finished work of Calvary, of the cross. And faithful is to remain loyal and steadfast and true to holiness. Glory be to God. But if we do backslide, if we haven't accepted Jesus by our personal Savior, He told us tonight we can from the scripture. Romans 10, if you're here tonight on this line or know someone, have a family member, Mm. glory be to God. Mm. Get the word, the gospel to them. Don't stand out and and wait for them to make up a decision. They can't make one until they hear the gospel. And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach that for your sin? to preach this gospel, this good news. So let them know that if they confess with their mouth Mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus Mm -hmm. and shall believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. They can be saved. All those people Mm -hmm. that he talked about, gay, lesbian, homosexual, Abortion. Yes. They can be saved, church. Yes. God love them. He waiting on them. Glory be to God. But we need the church. We need the saints. Mm-hmm. We need the preachers of God to stay faithful. Yes, Lord. Stay loyal yes. to the gospel. Stay loyal to your calling. Don't get caught up in this pledge of the world mm-hmm. for a season. Be like Moses he told us about. Mm-hmm. Rather suffer with the people. Mm-hmm than to live in the palace, to be a, a Pharaoh's daughter's son. He'd rather suffer with the people than to enjoy pleasure of sin for a season. I pray tonight that 
the preachers. Live holy. Stay true to your calling. Stay faithful to your calling. Don't change because we are God's example to the earth. We are to show the people how to live this gospel we preach. So we're going to show them how to live the gospel that we preach. We got to preach the gospel we live. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and we yes, give you praise. Yes, yes. Your blood cover us tonight. Yes, Lord. Cover these little babies. Cover these little children. Yes. Cover them from COVID. Yes, cover them Lord. from the Delta yes, virus. Yes, cover the saints, God. Yes. Cover the people. Cover the Causing them to turn yes, back Lord. to you and live. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let this gospel yes. go through tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church family, hear the word. Yes. Search yourself. Yes, Lord. See, we still faithful. Search yes. yourself. Yes. See, my faith is still in Jesus Christ and the cross. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, help us tonight. Help us, Lord. He lives. Mm. And because he lives, mm. we can face tomorrow. Yes, Lord. We ask God to bless us going out. Bless us coming in. Bless us down city. Yes. Bless us uprising. Cover our home. Shield us and protect us from would-be robbers and home invaders. Shield us and protect us from evil things, evil spirit, even evil people. Shield us, God, as we live this life, as we bring you glory. My God, keep us. Look on the sick and shut in. Raise them up. We pray for those that are coming from Afghanistan. We pray for those that are in Haiti, we pray for those that are in harm's way. Yes, God, you everywhere. Yes. Oh, God, and you hate no one. Glory be to God. Help us to turn to you. And we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Mother Baker, Josephine Baker, Bishop Baker White would say at the end of a service when the minister missionary had preached, even her husband, Bishop Baker, she would have something to say before we gave the benediction. And she would say, you heard the word. How much you going to obey? We've heard the word tonight. How much you going to obey? Mm-hmm. 